What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to show you the location of all K865's treasure chests all located on Titan this week which is the Flashpoint Planet. Okay so the first one we're going to go to is this one right here. So basically you want to spawn into the rig landing zone as I do right now. If you guys want to win some epic loot, I've got emblem codes, spiral codes, gift cards and much much more. Uh, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also join my Discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so once you spawn in, you want to head to the room here which normally has the witches ritual uh, public event. So you want to run straight through here. Ignore absolutely everything. Okay, so jump over the chest back there, but who cares? Uh, straight over here. Um, ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, so yeah. Straight down here, and you want to head to that little dark room right there. Right there. We'll go through that, and it'll be on the other side. And there we will have our first K6 chest. So let's. Go! What's that? What's that? Ooh, I got a ghost board emblem. Might have seen that before. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. That looks pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so yes. Um, we're going to go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is right here. Now we're going to spawn back at the rig area to give you guys like a basic route of where we've got to get to to get to this one. And then we'll start from here because every other chest today is located on this side of Titan. Okay, so once you want to spawn in, you want to go the exact same way we just went. Uh, you could even bring out your sparrow if you wanted to, which I will do when I get out of here. So we get there a lot, lot quicker. Now these, well, the ones I've seen so far are basically out in the open, so no real difficult ones to find this week, so that's good. Last week it took me so long to find a couple because they're just hidden in crazy places. So yeah, if you want to jump in this spell, you can. I think I might have to get off it. No, don't. I'm all good. I'm all good. So let's go across this bridge. Woo! Hopefully I don't fall off this. Let's try and do this. <gasps> there we go. Almost come off then. And you want to go in this room to your left, right here, and up these. Well, I was going to say up the steps, but there's no steps there, so you're just going to have to jump off your spell if you own one and jump up. And we want to go into this room right here, the solarium. And you'll see you can run past these if you want to. Run past this knight. Jump over him even. And then it is in this corner right there. So let's just get rid of these guys. There's one. There's two. Now these guys will probably shoot at me. I'm trying to open that juicy chest. Okay. Hey, I got another blue armor. Woo! Great. So the next one from here, you simply just want to jump over here. Jump over here. And go into this, well, basically this massive room. I like to call it kind of like an arena, even though it ain't. And you can see it's up here, right there. Simple as that. So what are we going to get from this one? The number. Woo! Like I haven't got it already. Crazy. Okay, so the fourth chest today is located right here. Um, basically from the location of that third chest, the one we just picked up. You basically want to follow the direction I am taking right now. Now this place we're actually going to is a place I don't think I've actually been to before in this game. That's it seems crazy on a, on a planet so small, or a moon so small, I mean like, really? But the reason I haven't been here is, and you know why, it's because there's no point. I don't need to go here. That's what I mean about the planets, I mean as big or as small as they are, there's so many places I haven't explored because there's just no need to do so. It seriously is not. But look, oh, like them real life vacuums that you program to clean your house where you're at. Okay, so basically it's in this room at the far end right there. So there's a few enemies here, you can either eliminate them or fight them, it's up to you. So you basically want to jump, if you're a hunter, and if you're a warlock or a titan, you can probably just scale up there straight away. Well, hunters can't because we've got crappy jumps, you know. So you just want to jump across, probably use your triple jump as well. 
make it a lot easier. And there we have it. And I got a mod and a blue piece of gear. Okay, so the fifth chest is located right about here. Now we're going to go to it from the place, uh, from the location of the third chest, which was in the solarium. So where that fourth chest was, if you want to head back to this room right here, um, I will guide you from here. Now it's relatively easy, like I said, they're all pretty easy this week. So from the location of the, the third chest, instead of going to the far right corner of the room, you want to go over to the left hand side the point of entrance which was over there so we go through here and we take this room to your right there we go now this one you probably if you ain't watching videos on it you probably will have run straight past it <laughs> but it's all good now you just want to jump up here simple as that and there it is right there now this is the fifth and final Cade 6 chest location and what's it going to give me? <laughs> Absolutely nothing and would you believe that? I get one of them every single week yet I spend almost 5,000 glimmer on each one. Are these things actually worth? Do you think they're worth 5,000 glimmer? Are they worth 5,000 glimmer? I mean okay if I didn't have this, I would have spent that much on it. But I've got it now. And um, what else did I get? For, so let's say, 25,000 Glimmer, I got a 295 Blue Cloak. I got 297 and 295 Chess Pieces. I got a 295 Sword. I got a couple of things in here, which will give me a few hundred Glimmer back from Cade himself. And I got a Mud. I got a couple of mods actually because one went to my uh, Postmaster too. So for 25,000 Glimmer, I got absolute rubbish, nothing I needed. So in my opinion, people, these K6 chests are not worth purchasing. So another thing which must go onto the list for Bungie to fix for this game for the future because there's just no point in doing these. There seriously is not. But that is just my opinion. Let me know yours down below within that comment section. But guys, this was the location of all five of K6's treasure chests on the planet or the moon, Titan. Thanks as always for stopping by, people. If you enjoyed the video and it helped you out, leaving a like really does help me out. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get it right.